everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. Today I have my best Katara, casual Katara cosplay going on because I am doing the live action Avatar The Last Airbender. I didn't want to do this one for November, but I put up a Twitter poll and you have to follow the politics of Twitter. And this won the poll. I loved the show when it was on. I haven't seen it since it originally aired, but I watched all of it. I've heard terrible things about this. And I also have been in the room while this was played. So I've seen what it looks like. Like I've glanced at it on a screen, but I've never seen it. I haven't seen any of like any, any of it. I haven't seen it. I just, I was in the room as it was played. I just want to, Get that out there, because I feel like <laughs> people will find out, <laughs> and then I'm just, uh, all my credibility is lost. What credibility? I have none, apparently. Let's just do it, I guess. <clears throat> Okay, so it wasn't as bad as Garbage Pail Kids, and it wasn't as bad as Super Mario Bros, but it was just not what it should have been. The show is so incredibly incredible and wonderful and good. I just said it in the intro, but I haven't seen the last Airbender cartoon since it came out, so I, I might forget things during this reaction video, but I mean, from what I can remember, it was way more fun than that. Also, I love a knight. I love him. I love his stuff. I love his stupid style. I love his dumb cameos in his own films. I just love him. I loved The Village. I loved Signs. I loved Fifth <sighs> Element. Fifth Element, Sixth Sense. That's the one, loved it. Lady in the Water, terrible. And like, the devil, hilariously bad. I thought the visit was super fun and entertaining. And so this was just really weird. Like what an odd project for him to work on, right? Why, who gave this to him? Who was like, you know what? You know who will do great? The signs guy. Did you see Lady in the Water? This will be great, this will be great. I did not like the parts where the pure, <laughs> Water Nation is white people, and then the Fire Nation is not white people. <laughs> Why was that the choice? That's so weird and not, it's just, it's problematic. I also thought that like the traits of the characters, from what I can remember, like I said, it's been a long time, but the traits of the certain characters that you're watching, like the, the leads are so dulled down, like in a way that, where is the fun? Where, where did the fun go? Shh, Sokka. Biggest example of that is Sokka. Sokka was like this goofball, funny guy, like trickster, like always like upset, like just oh, sh way more animated than this character, who by the way, couldn't act to save his life. I'm so sorry, but the acting in this was terrible. I feel like they got a lot of names wrong too. I remember him being called Sokka, and he was Soka in this, and Aang, I remember, he was called Aang, right? Not Ong. First thing I wrote down is whitewashing. <laughs> and then the next thing I wrote down is cue complaints about me complaining about whitewashing. <laughs> down below, just look for them, they'll be there. They'll be there. So you see Aang, I'm gonna call him Aang, sorry if it's wrong. <laughs> but you see Aang in the water frozen and then they melt it. You see Appa and I was like, yes, okay, at least Appa is here. And then he's like, not at all in the movie, at all. Also, what did they do to his face? Appa is supposed to be cute and magical and magnificent and he looks like a weird toad gorilla. And it's just, it's not right. Okay, moving on. You see Zuko and he's like, bring me all of the elderly. Just, I know why, but like, it's just a weird thing to exclaim. I want to knit and eat creamed corn. So lackluster, just so like quiet and reserved. And I feel like that's coming from M. Night, Shamalama Ding Dong, who is like, tone it down everyone, just we're gonna, it's gonna be really chill. That's the vibe I get from it. It's like, he's just like, shushing everyone the whole time and I, I, I just wish I could be a fly on the wall 
during filming of this. It just seems like it was a boring process, which is so tragic. What? What? Dev Patel? That's Dev Patel? <laughs> oh my god. He's so young! Oh, well that's why I thought he was cute, because it's Dev Patel. He's a great actor. Ooh, M. Night. Ooh, you did him dirty. They capture Aang, Aang escapes, and then Aang finds out that all of the people that he knew and loved have died. He was in the ice for a long time, and he's the Avatar. And it's so boring, and it, I don't care at all. So you get the first scene that has a little bit of action, and it's like, oh, I thank the Lord above. They're in this earthbender camp, and you get to see a little bit of earthbending, and you get to see airbending and firebending. And so they escape, and this is kind of where the revolution starts. And they start like banning together and going against the Fire Nation. And it's like, cool. I wish there was 100% more venting in this movie. You barely get to see any of it. And before you do, there's like 100,000 like arm gestures that they have to do. And it's like, it works in the animated series because it's animated. <laughs> it doesn't really work here because I actually don't know the actors' backgrounds, but it doesn't seem like these actors have a lot, a ton of experience. Maybe I'm wrong. It didn't, it didn't read well. So the Fire Nation captures Aang again for the third time so far, and he escapes again for the third time so far. It's a, it's a theme, I guess. Yes! Penis hair! <laughs> Somebody had told me about that before, and so I was, I was looking out for it, but it just really shines like a beacon of hope when you see it. Because at this point, you're like an hour and 15 minutes into the film, and you're just dying for anything that's a worth anything. And then you get penis hair. So at least there's that. Aang is, tr is training to be a waterbender now, so he's got air down. And you meet the, uh, the princess. Uh, never! In any film, has there been a more awkward couple ever? Ever. They're so awkward and they develop this super fast connection, but they literally, it seems like they met each other on set and that one of them like picked their nose and like wiped it on the other one. And they were like, all right, go film, be in love. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Then like, they're just wrapping it up at this point. There's 15 minutes left. Aang is captured again. He escapes again. The fire mean commander guy kills the moon spirit. And then princess gives herself to the moon spirit so the moon spirit can be back. And then Aang uses the ocean to show them the power of Aang and they defeat the fire nation. The last thing I wrote is, defeats the Fire Nation, and then, lol. <laughs> Zuko's sister comes in, they think they're gonna get a second movie. Hilarious, no way, that's, <laughs> no way, no way. They must have filmed that scene first, and then they were like, well, we already filmed, we might as well just put it in. <laughs> it's like, there's no way they filmed that whole movie and was like, I feel good about this, you know, I don't wanna jinx it, but like, damn. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> no way! The only saving grace was penis hair. Damn, I did Katara hair. I should have done penis hair. Your video has been flagged for removal. <laughs> You'll be bored and sad and wonder what the hell they did to Sokka. Yes! A slow head shake at the sad optimism that is the cliffhanger. I like that, but it was more like, uh, <laughs> No. Why are you white? Next question, why can't they act? Oh, shots fired! Why can't they say Aang correctly? Oh, I'm so glad! I wonder how Sokka's actor kept getting work after Twilight. He was in Twilight? A moment of silence for acting as a whole. Okay. A lot of people bringing up penis hair, so that's good. Don't look at me, I voted for Kazam. <laughs> Next week, I'm doing Kazam or I'm doing Troll 2. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all next week with a more, at least, fun movie. Maybe not good. It is November, but it will be at least more fun. All right. See y'all next week.